She's the queen of my heart. She plays a very big part in me. Can't you see? I can't explain the joy you bring. I capture all those little things that no one ever took time to find. So I give her love to last a lifetime. Y'all remember that song? That's my brother L. She's the queen of my heart. Oh, yeah. Them Abney boys. That's a very great star in me. In me. I can't explain the joy you bring. You gave me love and the little things that no one ever took the time to find. So, well, give your love to. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Let's talk about this, y'all. Let's talk about this. It's very interesting. You know, Princess Diana was upset with some of how the royal family treated Prince Harry as a child. And actually, she had some real serious concerns about him growing up. That's interesting because I think he's the one that got her more of her spirit. That's interesting. In my opinion, Princess Diana always had her children's best interests at heart. It was clear that her kids were the most important part of her life. And to this day, Prince Harry and Prince William have never forgotten the love they had and they have for their mother. Absolutely. I mean, you never do. It's just, it's, it's just what it is. Um, but with William, the heir to the throne, one royal insider claims that Diana once uh, revealed that she had concerns about Harry growing up due to the favoritism that they always showed to William. Mm. It's clear in photographs and video footage that Diana always put her kids first and wanted them to be happy. And it is clear, it is clear from the start that William will be the heir to the throne. And the rumors have swirled that King Charles once referred to his, uh, his kids as the heir and the spare. Hence the name of Harry's best-selling memoir, which I did read. It was a very good book. Very good book. You know, if you'd like to read, even if you like to listen to audiobooks, that was a good one. Spare. But anyway, Diana reportedly worried about Harry growing up because there was sometimes favoritism shown to William by other members of the royal family. At least that's what royal expert Ingrid Stewart claims that Diana once said. And I believe it. I believe it. Uh... He, the little redhead kid, and I heard that Charles didn't want a redhead and a lot of stuff that uh, Diana mentioned in her book. So, you know, it was very interesting. And I thought that um, he was he's more like his mother than anybody. I mean, I, I carried a, qu a queen in my heart, a queen of hearts, I'm sorry, in my wallet, and I still do to this day in memory of uh, Diana because I thought that she was such a sp pure spirit and uh, she needed to be recognized to me out of that royal family who didn't have that spirit at all. I carried a secret amount of respect for her and 
are with me every day and hope that I could have some of those characteristics that Diana had, like picking up black babies and, and, and kissing them, even though the, the society might have said, oh, those babies got AIDS or whatever. Her heart was pure. It was genuine, and you could see it, and you could feel it. And when she came to America, she came over to uh, Chicago. Uh, it, well, let's, I ain't talking about that right now. Anyway, we talked about it quite a lot. Stewart said of Diana's worry for Harry, and according to the Express. She said, I worry for Harry, and I'm really, really careful that he's not treated different than William. Seward also said in an instance where Queen Mother, that's Harry's great-grandmother, showed favoritism towards William all the time. When they used to go and see the Queen Mother, she would pat the chair and say, Come and sit here, William. Come and sit here. And completely ignore Harry. And that would really upset Diana. It would really, that upsets any mother. Um, it would. I think she, Diana, worried much more for Harry because she just wasn't sure which way he was going to go. That's why he was a little rebellious. I get it, Harry. I get it. Maybe Diana always worried about Harry. But she would likely be happy that he took the path that he did. Though some might not agree with Harry's decision to leave the family, it seemed he wanted nothing more than to be out of the royal bubble. So he did what he felt he had to do. And his wife, Meghan Markle, they still, they hanging tough. And um, that's interesting. He said in, in when they went to Nigeria in 2024 in May, he said that he was really happy. These days, Harry's relationship with William remains strained, but that doesn't mean he can't change someday. The two brothers did get together in 2021 to unveil a statue in honor of their mother despite their ongoing feud. So, it seems that when um, it truly matters, they can put their differences aside. And, and I, you know, I hope so because a lot of families can't do that. Right? A lot of them can't. But I'm glad. I'm glad that she acknowledged that and she knew that from early on because they have. They've made a difference. And that's what he's expressed in his book, Spare. One hair and one spare. And for those of y'all who don't know what that means, you, that means you have another child. So just in case the first one need a kidney or, you know, a liver or whatever, then your spare has to give him his body parts because you know they'll match. <laughs> that's that royal madness, ain't it? And that's what they call it, royal. Boy, I swear. <laughs> anyway, some of these... European people are just out of their damn mind. Anyway, to make a long story short, I think they uh, Harry turned out very good. He, t he turned out open-minded, and that's all you can ask for in a closed-minded society sometimes. Right? What y'all think about that? All right, leave your comments below and let me know what you think about Diana having concerns about Harry. And how it ended up being. You know. What it evolved to. Alright. I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't you worry about it.